All right, y'all, let's talk about this week in hip hop history real quick. So first up, February 10th, 1987, Public Enemy released their debut album called Yo Bum Rush The Show. And Public Enemy will always have a sentimental place in my heart because Public Enemy was the first concert that I ever went to back in 1989 at the Civic Auditorium here in Portland. What was your first concert that you ever attended? Drop a comment and let me know. Next up, February 13th, 1996, the Fugees released their second and final album called The Score. It featured hits such as Fuji La, Ready or Not, and Killing Me Softly. What's your favorite song on The Score? Moving right along, February 10th, 1998, Funk Dubious released their third album called Troubleshooters. And can anyone name the three members of Funk Dubious? Surely all my real hip-hop heads know the answer to that question, right? February 8th, 2005, One Below released his critically acclaimed solo album called Sonogram. And One Below, of course, was formerly known as One Man Army, and he was one half of the hip-hop duo Binary Star from Pontiac, Michigan. Shouts out to One Below. In February 7th, 2006, Jay Dilla released his second studio album called Donuts. And speaking of Jay Dilla, there's actually a brand new book called Dilla Time that just came out last week. So if you're a fan of Jay Dilla and you know how to read, then you may want to check that out. Anyway, smash that heart button for Jay Dilla and show some love. And that concludes this week in hip hop history. Yeah, it's well wicked. P.S. The three members of Funk Dubious were Sun Doobie, Tomahawk Funk, and Ralph M. The more you know.